Hello everyone, Teacher here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to have a real journey ahead to look and that is going to be from my perspective. So if you're ready, let's take a closer look. So everyone, I figured I would do kind of like a journey ahead. I normally do an update on what I'm farming and so on on my account like once per month. I haven't done it this month. So I figured with a very disappointing journey ahead and well, that basically wasn't a journey anywhere, um, based on what we know. I figured I would do one myself. So let's start off with the most important thing for me. I got him. I got him and I had to pull a ton of gem chests. Um, I did save the 15k that I had from that very good sales deal that they offered us. That wasn't enough and I had to go buy more gems and spend most of them to get. And then I got away with it bare minimum like this. I honestly have enough um, for this guy to become 7 star. Like I got so many good pulls on him. Like I got so many 40s etc. And... Yeah, he, I now have a 7 star Great Goblin, so maybe I will make them a Chapter 2 team, but at, they mostly seem to be great for Chapter 2 Goblins. However, um, I will farm them. I'll get back to my farming list in just a moment, because honestly, I might as well just do it, because I want a 7 star Thorn down in the future. So I did it with these four, plus uh, Erders. I ideally would have liked to do it with... Uh, Chef Kraska instead of Orphus, but it just didn't get great pulls. And then I have this guy at 6 star. I had probably the worst best RNG that anyone can ever have. I got two times Grimper 100 shards back to back in that uh, gem chest. I could have had a Goldbirds almost at f 7 star. He's luckily in Arena Store, so it won't take that long. I'm actually going to be farming him in Arena Store now. And then we'll see where we go from there. So my other, um, just a little bit overlook here, you can see my, my main team basically. Uh, I want to go go a little bit into my glyphs. As you can see, I'm working on Lord Elrond. I'm working on his glyphs, getting them up. We'll actually, just because we're actually here, we'll do one of them now. Uh, is that the one we want to do? Or do we want to do this? Hmm... Uh, actually, we don't want to do his glyphs then. Then we actually want to go over and focus on Elro here. As you can see, I run Elro here like this. My Elden, I'm actually doing like this. Working okay, and then I swap out from time to time. Let's see, do we have a good thing here? Upgrade. Um, block mitigation. Well, that bad. Ooh, I can actually make a level 10 glyph. Okay, that's interesting. I'm not going to do it, though, because I want to save that for when I actually do get my best glyphs. Um, what do we have here? Yeah. Sadly, it's a really bad armor resistance. I don't really want to go any higher there. There's a bunch of different ones here and there that I want to up a little bit. Um... I'll show you this one just in case, like here. This one is okay for a speed one. Uh, this one is health. This is okay for a healer. Uh, Lembus that you want the, the, ex the cooldown. So that's pretty nice. But anyways, my journey ahead. I got my thorn. Uh, we are currently in a raid. And this there's a little bit of progression for me, honestly. Wow, we're almost getting uh, chest, uh, that chest. I got to 3.6 million in chapter 2. So this was basically a 400k increase. And just to show you where I am. By the way, Night Hunter, he's pushing 2 million. This is a reason why I'm thinking I would like to build goblins. Because having a team that can do 2 million in any chapter, of course a lot of investment, will be done. My Haradrim scored up here. Um, I think it took me 5 attempts. Haven't really done anything except leveling some glyphs. That actually reminds me, I have some nice Bekelu glyphs uh, with withering. Over here, I actually did manage to get my score increased as well. I got a nice round 5.1 5 million. 
Still not sure what other teams I have that can actually push difficulty for and get it. I'm thinking Hobbits honestly road to Rivendell and I'll look into that. Let's go into the store before before we go over to the farming. Boromir and Biffer are the ones that I'm buying in here. I am however trying to say I only want to buy the 10 shards because of the fact that uh, I will then save some. Now Boromir I could make him with if I kept buying him I could probably have him 6 star for chapter 3 but I kinda want Denethor at the same time because my Gondor Ranger or well my Gondor Halberad Neremiri squad can already score 900k in chapter 3 and I don't see a reason for pushing them higher than that at the moment as I need more health from the star levels to be able to tank a difficulty 4 run and also I'm on Android so sadly as far as I know I haven't got the bug fix so here I've heard something about there's an offer when you get to 200 shards for Tebep that you could maybe buy the final ones I would really like that that would put her at the end of January and then I would have uh, my ha my Haradrim uh, built all the way again uh, here I just do gold birds here you can see I'm getting pretty close to my Gandalf. I will say I will get him maybe around New Year. So party pops at that time. And now let's dive into this right here. Sorry for the bright light, but now at least my face is uh, very bright. I've actually sit down and sat down and done this recently. I figured I would need to actually take a look at how am I spending my energy. The fact that Lord Balin, who I don't have on this list for some reason is farmable. Well, I'll need to fix that. We can do that on the fly. So, Gruher and Nuras, I'm farming those because they give me essences, and Nuras is a nice plug and play for chapter 3. Feely and Denethor have their usages. Denethor for my Gondor Ranger, Feely for Thorn's Company, and where is it? Keely. The one on light side. I don't remember who it is. Eowyn Eothane. I might swap Euthane out, he is close to a 6 star. Then I farm Herondil and such an Ara. I do that in case I ever need a full Gondor's team at 7 stars, then it would really suck not having them available. Why have I ridden Chef at... that's gonna be 80. That would be 70, 60. And I actually think we only get... Like what do what is it we get per energy per day? Is it seven hundred sixty nine or something like that? It's around max. So, if I were to remove something from here, I would actually go ahead and say I'm gonna remove Eothane once I have him at six star, and then that will give me some real room because right here, there's nothing I really can farm. Otherwise, if I had to go and remove something, it would probably be up here. Maybe Gruher. Uh, Nurus is close to a 6 star and I would like to farm him to 7 because there is some defensive, some summoning and some cleansing that I think would be nice for him. Also some weakening so, and there is some potential as I talk with Swag in our uh, Good Lives guides with Rohan and where we did Ironhide in that. I'll link that down in the description where we actually did talk about that. I theorycrafted that a little bit and I think that could work. So I'm going to farm Nurus to a 7 star I imagine. Just so he's done, also because I really think he's very cool and he's speedy, so who knows, maybe there's some potential for some nice points uh, somewhere down the line in a high-end run with Chapter 3 when they finally have it fixed. Now, speaking of Chapter 3, I'm actually really worried that they are gonna nerf, fix, or patch Elrons with uh, extending immunities, because that's gonna be make it really, really harder. I had the ideas for a chapter 3 1.5 million run if that bug that has been there since launch, which I then would label not a bug because obviously why wouldn't they have fixed it? I would say I had a 1.5 million run up and running. Uh, wait, what? Um, okay, uh, let's do like this and then we'll just do... Um, Ball in. I might actually do this instead. I'll do ball in and then we'll be here so that will be pretty nice. But yeah I figured I had the, that up and running but apparently they fixed that so 
when chapter three is buck free, I imagine I can score a three million there. At the moment, I'm scoring, well, um, 3.6, uh, 8.6 million across, no, 8.7 million actually, across the first two chapters. If I can get a three million in my uh, chapter three, I actually think I can go above that with lives. I'm hoping for 3.5 maybe. Um, depends on the Elrond um, fix. If if it is fixed, as I assume, then 3 to 3.5. Otherwise, if it hadn't been fixed, I would have probably aimed for 3.84 million. Chapter two, uh, chapter 4, last time I actually managed to do 2 million, so that was pretty nice. I'm going to aim for that again. I'm going to be slowly getting there, because we're actually going to be building up our squads now. I'm thinking because I actually can I scored 600k with the uh, road to Rivendell in chapter two. I'm thinking I actually want to bring them up all the way in their abilities, also because we do have some of them, as you can see here. So we do have some, and those that I want to do is actually the duo. I want to uh, the plug and play Mary Pippin, as some of you have seen. There are some. Dolgulder Cheese also going around, and also Mary Pippin is actually a great duo for chapter 1, you could say, with the assists, but also for chapter 3. So I'm gonna probably go with Road to Rivendell. I know I've also spoken about my Haradrim, but the fact that I don't feel they will be able to get a uh, chapter 1 difficulty 4 score yet I need Hyatt lifts so that will come over time and I'm basically now getting close to 1.5 in chapter 2 where I don't see the need because I got 3.6 million I don't see the need to actually op uh, bring up uh, this at the moment like maybe if I heard from someone who was actually doing really well with Haradrim in, diff in chapter 4 then maybe that they had uh, some stuff to share there because otherwise yeah I'm not really feeling them chapter 4 is where I wanna go ahead and get my 6 Gandalf shards from and Road to Rivendell could be a thing there that's also why Gondor like I'll probably finish them off with their abilities because if we go in and look here as you can see I've actually invested into them and especially this guy and I feel it might just be good to actually finish off these three characters. So I'm probably going to go Road to Rivendell first. And then we'll evaluate from there. And I showed him in the beginning. If you're wondering why have you unlocked Thorin if you're not going to use him. Uh-huh. There is a plan to that actually. Like I have my fifth team available that will be dwarves. But I'm also at the same time of course wondering goblins but that's mostly for chapter 2 for down the line getting mythical currency thorns company it's here uh okay so it is feely yeah i wrote correctly feely is halfway to a seven star i need uh xp i uh, burn some one character from 1 to 60 is 600k and here there is quite a few like here we have Biffer, he's also about to go up there. Let's just see. Yeah, only 40k removed. So so he's halfway to a 6 star. And then we have a Keely here, who is just got to 5 star. Now this is really, really nice. But I'm thinking, because at the moment, uh, I'll just uh, talk to you about my actual rate scores. So my leftover team can do 300k in uh with lifts then my rivendell 900k they can also score 1 million but i didn't really feel like testing it too much today then i have my road to rivendell who's getting closer to the 900k in chapter 2 then gondor is also scoring there they need just their abilities uh, level then they will also score really really well and thorns company i would say when road to rivendell can score 900k I'll at a fairly consistent level. Uh, did I say 400k before? They did 620 actually. Um, sorry about that. It's been a long week. I had four exams this week. I have exams Monday, Tuesday. I have 
uh, prep for exam on Wednesday and then I have a censorship on Thursday, then I have work Friday, then I have Christmas holidays and then I have a bunch of stuff after Christmas and New Year. So I'm a little bit tired in my mind as, um, as you guys might understand or hopefully understand. Now, Bumber, I'm going to be unlocking him. I'll do that tomorrow, honestly. I don't really feel like doing it today. But uh, here, I would say when Feely gets to 7 star, that is when I will pump the XP and gold into these. I'll do Feely first. Um, because he's more plug and play viable at the moment. Then I'll probably go over to a Thorin. And then I don't know where we'll go here. Like abilities i'll do four across the board um but yeah i would like to actually get all of them at the same time up to level 60. so these four here that is um, 2.4 million and i would say i can get that for when uh it's a month and a half honestly for or is it only a month 50 shards is 10 days in around a month, I'll be having Feely at the seven stars. So yeah, um, so yeah, it's Keely I'm farming and not Feely. That means in 30 days, I will have seven star Feely. I hope they will give us something new in the objectives that I can uh, get five shards off. And then I'll bring dwarves up and bring them as much online as possible. Hopefully we'll have a guild chapter six at that point. But overall, I'm really enjoying the game. Arena, uh, let's see if... Uh, yeah, I have been knocked down when I didn't have my glyphs on. But I'm s around goal one. I've been getting missful through the last couple of days. Uh, payout is really nice. As you can see uh, right here, my gems. I'm gonna actually slow, de slow down. Ooh, okay. He says slow down and then he realizes he hasn't spent his gems for the day. Well, let's just get that sorted. So the reason why I'm doing this, I want my um, purple materials just because, honestly, I really need it. This give, um, doing the free refreshes and everything, I get around 100 per day. So yeah, that's kind of like my journey ahead at the moment, where I am with my teams. I am pushing 13 million in raids. Uh, I should hopefully get 14 million before the end of the year. I'll say when chapter 3 is fixed, I'll get 14 million. And then we'll see where we go from there. And I hope end of January we will be pushing 15 to 16 million overall in the raids. Also, speaking of raids, I actually want to highlight something. Um, this one, I actually really, really like this. This was more than I honestly imagined. Like, some of the things were really nice and some of the things were like, eh, I wanted other stuff, but like, Overall, they gave us a chest 5, which I really, really liked. So that was actually a good compensation. I would like them to see do more of this stuff. Not to such an extent. I wouldn't complain about that. But I would like to see them do something like this often. And also, I would like to see some kind of like Christmas theme. And they do the same for, like, let's say kind of like a Sam's Adventure that are unlockable like once every 14 days like roll three of them out unlock them and then say okay you have to come back in the next 14 uh, in next time it's around you can work on your characters until then i think some people would add first uh, launch have it really tight with that like oh why why isn't it just daily rotation but like say you have an event open 14 days then it closes then it's a new one where you have X, uh, X amount of characters that you have to use. And then you progress there. You get some rewards. Similar to something like Marvel Strike Force has with the days. but And also that we have in here with the challenges. But more like then say you can go and earn something that we would feel uh, is really useful. Maybe, I don't know, something with XP. Something with a certain character. Like it would be a nice way to put some characters over there and say you have to unlock them with a specific faction personally i would like that some people might not i would of course say it should be something that is free to play accessible maybe dungeon so people have a reason to build them up i know that some of you might actually say why are you suggesting dungeon don't tell don't give cg good ideas 
Uh, Dunlin is actually something I also want to farm, and as you could see on my list, it isn't there. But um, I really want to get them to a five star because my suspicion is that they will in some time during spring or yeah, maybe late spring there will be a requirement for something to be unlocked, and I'm really worried about that. I'm thinking there's something hidden in here where these guys unlock something and I really don't want to go and find them. Edric, he's a guild chapter. I can I can live with that, but these other two. Yeah. Uh four star here. I want to I, I want to farm them to at least a six star. Might as well just farm them to seven honestly. But yeah, Rohan might be where I'm going to um cut back and then go elsewhere. So anything in store? No, there isn't. Not since last time. So yeah. That was my journey ahead. I'm really enjoying my raids. I'm making my squads there. Dwarves are going to be my fifth team. I have said, thought about goblins. It's a little bit hard to trace it probably. But yeah. Oh well, I'm really happy. I'm getting my glyphs up and running. And slowly but surely I will have glyphs that are really good. That can be swapped around from teams. Like the visual bug is killing me from time to time but I like swapping it uh, it's getting better and better now that I have more and more glyphs and I level them up to level 7 or 8 and then I know who, uh, which glyphs to swap and I'm starting to remember okay I need focus on this character and I need damage on this character so it's really nice and the gold cost isn't really that much so I really enjoy it and I really enjoy the game so CG hire me for your communications and then you'll see a proper journey ahead in the future have a good day everyone, drop a comment down below, let me know what you would maybe want to hear me talk about next, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next video.